All right, now that we have that saved out, let's go on. Uh, we now have to pay close attention to the material itself. And that means we got to go over here for a second. So when you open this up, there is a material that is added to this dice. And over here is the texture. So what I want to do is I want to have texture as a type and the type is an image or a movie. Then I'm going to go over here and say open and I'm going to open that cube PNG. Next, I want to go down here to image mapping and say clip. And what that did is it clipped off this area where it's only got one uh, repeat value. And next, coordinates. And I want UV. Okay, with that already attached to the material, now the texture, you can see in the material section, they got this ball. If you go like this, you can also see the cube. A rough translation of it. You can see that the material and the texture has some kind of wonkiness going on where it's not repeating right. This is just a value. This is just to show you that the material has a texture, however. This isn't the actual cube that you see over here in the window. All right. Now, with that installed, we can now export our model. So we go over here. And we make sure paper model is on. And we go unfold. Okay. Next, we go to export paper model. Down here below, I want letter. I want textures from materials linked. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just export this out. It's going to go into package unit one. It's called unit one dice. And this is called a uh, SVG scalable vector graphic. Try to export that out. Now it says the island is too big to fit onto the page of a given size. Either downscale the model or find and split the island manually. Okay, no big deal. We go back to export and I'm going to export this as something a little higher. One over 50 because we can always upscale it back. Then I go back into materials, linked, and try that out. Now let's just preview this. Um, let's go back in. And here's the scalable vector graphic. I'm going to open it with Inkscape. I just right click on it, open with Inkscape. And if you look at it, you'll see that it's very pixelated, but it's a folded box. It's pretty cool. So let's go back and fix the pixelation. I'll show you how that works. Export paper model. This time I'm going to choose something pretty high for the export. I'm going to put 2000 on the unfolded DPI. Again, letter from materials linked. And that says something about the size again. Looks like this changed. Once you get this plugin working quite, quite well, it, it's headache free. But when you first get it, it's going to be kind of a nightmare at first.
There we go. It's actually taking some time this time. Okay, let's go look at that. Well, that's much better. So there we go. We have our folded paper box. And what's nice about this is if you look under display mode outline, they have all the paths for you. Now these paths are are used to cut out the model, usually via a cutter of some nature. Um, we can use a die cutter, but I use a laser cutter at my job. Um, so you cut these out and it does a really nice job but it's these lines that are very very important to have so now you have a professionally laid out model this is just a, a, a good start when it comes down to package design it just gives you the idea of like taking a box and unfolding it but really there's a lot more to it all right so, uh, how you save this, you can actually close this out. That was just a preview of it. And what I need is this one and this one. Send to compress zip folder. And that is part two. All right, so there's part one and part two able to hand in. Let's go to the next video.